Hello and welcome to Zach One Hundred Three TV. Um, took about a week. We took a week off from uh, racing for a bit. We'll be we back. Should be expected to be full time back. Uh, should, nothing should interrupt, but uh, keep an eye on that. Uh, nonetheless, though, we are back, and NCCRS is here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway for the first of two events at the Coca-Cola Super Speedway, being car- the Interstate Three Coca-Cola Racing Series. Starting on pole, we got uh, Byron Webb in the 17 DeWalt Dodge for Real Fan Motorsports, first pole of the season. Stay in the booth. I, I have uh, Reggie Fogelman with me. Hello, hello. Welcome back, Zach. And uh, last race was quite interesting at Watkins Glen. We had Zig Zagoon uh, come up with a last lap pass, end up winning the race and taking the points lead. His points lead is um, a little bit decisive, almost uh, about 30, no, a little over 30, actually 48 point lead, if I'm not mistaken, from that one race because Frank Shelton did not do very well, so... Who's to say that lead cannot be regained, or if someone new can come through the ranks and maybe switch something up, like Santa Messi, Genghis Khan, or Kyler Soustre, um, who are still at it. And you may notice that the O2 of Jack Ross is not in our roster. He left the Discord server, so he won't be competing in the series for the remainder of the season, unless he re- like rejoins or something. But usually don't do that. Uh, so that leaves Jimmy Starr as, once again, the only, one and only Toyota in the field. So, yes. 17 oh, laps yeah. today. Um, Who is starting today, Zach? Say that again, uh, Reggie? Where is Mr. Consistency starting off today? Ooh, not a good starting spot today either, but this is Coca-Cola Super Speedway, and track position is not going to define or uh, it's not going to define your finish, so... It really just depends on how he's able to get around traffic and if he's able to get up front. However, we have seen uh, uh, his strong suits do not appear to be super speedways. And as of last race, uh, it, it appears word courses are the same. So their best uh, race tracks are intermediates, and we got a handful of those. So mixed bag in the season, but nonetheless interesting then. See how that all filters through. And Watkins Glen again. Very interesting race. If I'm not mistaken, we had Santa Messi, who was looking for a pretty decent day in points, did not finish too well. And I think someone hit the pit wall. I want to say it with Riley Gorse, but I don't want to like sound crazy here, because that would be a both Sunny D cars, but I'm not 100 sure. I'd have to go back and look, but Interesting enough, both the K&K Motorsports cars starting in the second row. And yeah, Spectator got a good good deal. Uh, then Pox Cozart, Daytona winner. This is only, I, I believe, the second uh, Super Speedway of the season. Keep an eye on him. He may try to get his consistency back on here today. And Kyler Schuster with a good start. And then the 83 with a decent start as well. Going with Craig Pockers and Jeremy Frey. Ryan Cole up here as well. Yeah, I think he did fairly okay last week at Watkins Glen. Got a pretty good start. It looks like the 25 may have some uh, issues on the start of this race. It may not start. We'll have to keep an eye on that car once we get to that. Any uh, first thoughts, Reggie? Uh, no, no, we don't. But... All right. Well, we're about to get command in five, four, three, two, one. Drivers, stop your engines! Man's been given. And again, this 25 car, uh, chat saying he has uh, an issue on in that car, and it is shown right here that he is not going as quick on the start of the pace and may actually, in fact, not pace up. It might have been an issue they may be able to fizzle out or fix. We'll just have to keep an eye on that. The 06? Uh, you know, I'm starting to think. I think this pace is just kind of messed up. Keep an eye on him, too. I'll be a big uh, punch in the hole for their points lead that just got uh, instated. Uh, Reggie, you want to call the green? Yeah, I can. Hold on one second. Here. Peace car is in. Mm-hmm. 
green flag is out. Got a few cars dipping down to the bottom there. It's a four wide there for fifth. Big track to cover. A lot to gain, a lot to lose. And uh, also, uh, the game will be calling the yellows, uh, not manual. I think we're just going to do that for courses. The 83, 324 fan, hasn't really shown any hope at all since last season. Yeah, made the championship four. That was about it. And has been very inconsistent this season. Is not in able to correct many top ten finishes. Looking late lap today, that would help them out quite a bit. In their stands. Well, I wouldn't say quite a bit, but help them, and help them nonetheless. A good finish is what they really need, though. We're going to turn on our standings. Yeah, 25 off pace. You know, he's discussed that they were probably not going to be. And they are going ahead and went to pit road. They may be out of the race. That would be quite the dent in their point standings race. Who was, oh, yeah, the 83. Red in the 73 takes the lead. Oh, and they were crashing in the back. Big one here at Coca Cola. And uh, 73 will lead him with the yellow. Cautions out. Huge wreck in the back. Oh, gosh, that was a big one. And Byron Webb, your pole sitter, already taken out of contention. This is a nasty one. Let's take out Pox Cozart as well. Go ahead and go to helicopter cam to see what happened here. Turn off our standings. Go slow mo. Let's get a good idea. All right, so we know Craig, Pox Cozer. Oh, this started out with Genghis Khan, Jeremy Frey, Rabina Gonzalez. Oh, no, it started behind that with uh, Riley Gorse, Melinda Jones, Vince Freeze, and then, oh man, Craig Pockers launched into the wall. Eric Monaco, Four May gotten some damage there. The, o the Do 7, a jet. Somebody barrel rolled back there in the back. Was the 46? I may have missed something. Go back on board with... Go on board with the double zero. Okay. We were just talking about the 25 years coming out of pit road at that moment. Probably not the best timing. So, um... Okay. Oh, there it is. Right there. Right in front. I just think it. It's going to be right there. Whoever that car is, go go back a little bit, Zach. Go back, go back, go back, go back, 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 Right. Who is that right there sideways? No, in the front, in the front, in the front. Up the back, the front. Right in front of whoever that car is. The 46? Because I know the 46 hit the wall pretty hard there. Oh, 21. It was, it was Cozart. It was Cozart. Oh, uh, yeah. Pox Cozart. Yeah, there's a 46 hitting the wall there. So we'll go ahead and see what the 21. Pox. We'll go his helicopter. We'll go slow-mo. We'll go the first. We'll go one frame of slow mo. Came out of it fairly okay. Double zero took him out. A lot of cars were not able to save this. Ryan Cole, Nimrod. Ooh, yeah, you're right. There it is, Nimrod. Send him tumbling. Your Daytona winner will not win at Coca Cola Super Speedway. Did not notice that. Good eye there by you because I did not see it. Damn. Hard leg. Go full speed. And just that inertia on the side. Cynism rolling. By Nimrod of all cars. Oh, and then a final hit from Jeremy Frey. So that will take him out of the race. Oh, and 72. Uh, Frank Chilton avoided that. From a know. very close... Close call. 
Um, in fact, I, one could argue he did not avoid that. Just a little tap from Santa Messi, and that was it. Definitely might have a little bit of arrow damage from that specific point. And almost hit the pit wall. Or not. Still in it. All right. We're back live. And the 73 of Shred is going to get these laps led to his standings. He's actually doing fairly okay in standings. Um, can definitely use these points. And right behind him is the 22. He's also doing well. Azrael Dreamer and some guys who could use these points on this. But yeah, we don't go through all that. Let's go through our out of the race cars. Right now, we know it's the three of Jeremy Frey. The 20, uh, I think the 25 is still in it. And then the 29 of Nimrod. 72 of Aztec Lovett. The 51 of Brock Nelson. And then Pox Cozart. Uh, unfortunate for those guys, especially Pox, who was, he was looking pretty good for this uh, race. Unfortunately, he got taken out pretty early in the first wreck of the race, which I believe was on lap three. Um,. We're going to go green not this time and next time by. And 25 Caden Williams will be scored a lap because he got a caution there and he's the lucky dog. So good for him. Got pretty lucky there. My problem is he got a whole bunch of damaged cars in front of him. So yeah, and we actually got quite a few cars back here with damage. Uh, we didn't really think about that much, but yeah, Byron Webb's still in it, but heavily damaged. I think both the, uh, uh, real fan motorsports cars with some pretty heavy damage. I think Vince Freeze, yeah, he's got a pretty crooked back end. They'll have to ride it out. That'd be not going to be a fun race for him. And Craig Pockress somehow still in it after, after a very, very wild wall hit there for him. Then so is Cooper in the 30 and Eric Monaco in the 48, who had some pretty heavy damage there. We'll have to keep an eye on these guys, however, though. Um, we'll have to keep up to speed with this with the series to stay in the race otherwise it will be manually sent out of the race the 07 looks like they may have an issue and again the 25 is going to be sent to the back for the okay no, those seven is not having an issue the 25 is getting sent to the back to um, be at the back of the field because they're the lap car the only lap car but they will be giving their lap back once the green is waved I will score them a lot. Well, Reggie, you got any thoughts? I don't really. No, this is Mr. Right right to start the race. race and, yeah. <laughs> you play with Dota, we're going to be that Rick Pit. I did not think it was going to be Rick Fest. I, I think that, that might, I, I would not be surprised if that was only Rick, to be honest with you. But seeing there's some more damaged cars in the back, it could become a wreck fest for specifically cars in the back, but it will, only time will tell. And then you got some cars back there that got pretty decent uh, engines or and don't have any damage, like Caden Williams and uh, Vince Freeze back there. Well, not, not so much Vince Freeze, but I'll have to keep an eye on them. Right. Well, as usual, I'm going to let you call this green flag. And a lot of guys we don't usually see up here. Monster, um, use a good day. There was a jump that. I don't think so. I think the yeah, no, 22 he's... front flip is running. We'll take a look at it. No, he's not even a car length ahead right now, so there's no way. There's no uh, way he could have jumped to start by that much. The front holds that car is way in front of that leap up. No, it, it like it has to be a car length in between, like a gap car length, not like a whole car length ahead. That's the rule. So it stays legal. Oh, 
Remember, I am curious. We're gonna go back to that start. Yeah, I know that that was one hundred percent definitely legal. Where did Not really, no. But anyway, seventy three is back in the lead from it, regardless. May have lost a lap led towards the uh, ten point bonus for most lap slows. We see Zigzagoon trying to extend his points lead, but it looks like he's going to fall back a bit. We'll have to also keep an eye on these guys who are pretty far back. 17. Uh, we have to go ahead and send them out of the race. Uh, they're just too far off. Let's see, they're not even cracking 200. These guys appear in the uh, quite much higher numbers. To, to call for the 73. I thought those guys down there were going to hit the wall, that 90 car specifically. I'm not mistaken. I think the 73 led that lap. Yeah, 73 bit, beat the one. Frank Shelton's up here right behind the points leader. He's, he's the one that points lead back. Again, this is a super speed race, but still. As he's getting last led. Really been the main focus. Keep an eye on that 101, too. Oh, and car hard in the wall on the bottom of the racetrack. Hard, hard wreck. Sam and Oskin and Santa Messi destroyed in the front stretch. Caution's out. Goodness. We're going to go ahead and call the 101 out either as, as well as a D and F for the 101, but... Hard wreck for the 57 and the 5. Oh, and they're wrecking again. The oh, 06. Oh, no. What happened here? They're wrecking after the yellow. That's the leader. Yeah, that is the leaders. Oh, the 06 is flipped. This was, at, this was right after the yellow that came out. And we were just talking about how the 06 is the points there. Four got around him, but uh, I would have to place the blame on that on the 06 for pinning on 99. That'll harm the 88, 22, 99, 45. Fortunately, the only cars involved, maybe the 97, but could have been much worse. Place Blame will be placed on the 06 if he is on oh, the 07. Also, some damage there. Twenty-five, fifty. Yeah, that's not, not what they're needing. One assumes the lead, so let's do go ahead and oh six. I'm, I'm just gonna go look at that later. But oh six almost flipped there. We can consider that part of the race. Not ten seventeen. I'm gonna go back and see what happened to those guys real quick. Uh, anticipating we may have an overtime. I'm gonna pause the game. Tab out. Hopefully my game don't crash. And double, uh, double fall restarts. That one lap reel. Say that again. What lap reel? We're on lap 10, 11 maybe. So we're going to go to turn 3 to 57. And the 5. And this is going to be one heck of a hit. It's going to be a very hard hit. First level of slow motion here. 57 comes down. 54 comes up or comes down as well. And oh man, it's going to be a nasty hit. Oh my gosh. Fifth five's already in the air. Ooh, five with a hard hit. Oh, he's going to flip. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That five car is destroyed. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, that is a bad, bad wreck. Oh, he's taking air too. Not much, but he's taking some. And lands on all fours. Ooh, the 57's going to hit the wall. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> no. This is so bad. <laughs> Dude. All right, so... Oh, man, that was a nasty, nasty wreck. 
go full speed. See if TV2 shows anything good. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. That is... That was definitely the worst trick I've seen this track. I know it's only a couple cars, but holy goodness gracious, that was, that was a bad break. We're going to pace minus here, but holy goodness, that was that was bad. Goodness gracious, that, that was... Man. All right, so out of the race, 06, 55, and 58, all of which from the big bad dead wreck and then the 57 and the 5 for obvious reasons that we just showed um, but the 50, 55, 06, 58 out of the race from the shenanigans that happened after the caution came out 06 I would have been given an EOL but instead will uh, be out of the race I don't believe any further penalty would be given uh, but seeing he was dumb enough to put himself out of the race that's on him that cost him uh, quite a big with gaps and points lead is a uh, Frank Chilton already trying to chew that lead back as he is in 10th right now. So we're going to go green this time. Roji, do you think we're going to see any more wrecks? Yep. Yeah. The way, the, yeah the way they're driving. Yeah, another, that's going to be the second straight week in a row that Santa Messi will not finish the race. Unfortunately, in a very hard wreck for him. Uh, if I was on the replacement, they may need it. Might not, though. Right. We'll see. 93 and 1 on the start. Go ahead and go oh, wow. helicopter and make sure one doesn't jump the other by a car length. You have much call to start whenever you're ready. All right, restart is good. Ninety three of Tufty Terror takes the lead. Is the one wants it back. Didn't notice Michael Garrow was up here in the top 10. Matthew Hill still looking for his first career win. Field is very spread out. Makes me wonder if there was a wreck or something. Still green. Keep an eye on people falling back. 9 9. He believes in the race anymore. We're falling back very far. Yeah, we're going to have to call it for the 99. He is too far back. Go to by, 99 will be manually DNF'd. And Cooper, he's still holding 200 in the straight, so he might make it. Back to the lead, though. 90 of Matthew Hill. Going to try to lead it at the line. Saber Fox, he's up here looking for his second one of the season. And look who's there, Mr. Fitzpatrick. Yeah, Mr. Raw Pace himself is. So I would say I was saying in the pre-race that you know this probably isn't the strongest track, but uh, here we are with three to go. He's in about to be top five right now. We'll have to see if this goes in his favor. An Azrael Dreamer up here as well. They've actually been up here almost all race. There's a 22 of... What's his name? Uh, Space Guy takes the lead. And then Jimmy Starr going to try to take it away from on the bottom. Doesn't have any drafts. We're two laps to go now. Seems crazy because it's been a caution fest. But nonetheless, two to go. And I don't believe there's going to be any concerns for cars causing 
issues. Cooper, slight concern, but it's going to be big. Saber Fox is going to try to move low once again. Next flag will call the race. If we have yellow here, it'll be overtime. Patrick Miller there in third. And some Dan in fourth. Still fanning out. Again, the draft appears to be on the top with Space Guide as he is able to lead another lap. Yeah. Keeping on him for most laps as well as Shred is looking to come back up here and lead some more laps. Yeah. Frank Chilton gets caught up high. They're talking about Mr. Consistency. He actually, I believe, is out of the race. Oh, no, he's 23rd. But back to the lead anyway since his last lap and there's only a couple corners left. Yeah. Space Guy is still in the lead. Again, there's just not enough draft really to get to back these guys. Super Fox is still looking for win number two, but I just don't know if he's got enough gas for that 22. Oh, he's going to try to move him up, but I just think that top lane is going to get to get that run off of forward. 18 makes a dive low, but I think the 22 of Space Guy has played it clean and will win his first career win here at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. And uh, unironically, or ironically, I guess you would say, the Coca-Cola 22 Dodge. Well, that was interesting. Unfortunately, Frank Chilton, we were just talking about him, did not get top 10. He actually finished 17th. Um, any it's thoughts, Rick? Well, that's we, I thought he'd say we saw the Mr. Patrick's the third top five. Yeah, yeah that is third. Patrick Miller getting another top five there. That was a good thing to point out. And then Azrael Dreamer in 10th. And that's so. number three. There's three in a row. Yep. And then, not even counting his total. And then Super Fox with a good finish. Shred with a pretty good finish. Going to be good point stays for those two. And then, uh, 83, who led some laps, also finished well. And then Michael Garrow can get some rebound. Uh, get another top 10 after your last race at Watkins Glen doing the same. Matthew Hill doing well as well. Any last thoughts? No, I don't. All right. Well, uh, for me and Reggie on uh, the NCCRS at Coca-Cola Super Speedway and oh. Coca-Cola car winning, <laughs> Coca-Cola three times. We're going to call the race, and we'll see you next one. I believe it is Daytona, but I'll check the schedule. Um, but, yeah, peace out.